Race number 10 of the Walmart Super Series Series here at Daytona. Welcome to Daytona Night. Joe Jefferson and Dave Davison on the front row. Full qualifying results as always. And of course, trackside. So the Reese Super Series Series has an off weekend. They will not be going to Daytona for the second time in their last season. They did, however, last season, but we didn't run Pigs Creek. One race had to be sacrificed for that series, and it was the second Daytona race. But the Walmart series still has it. Here is the race command. Drivers, start your engines! And the engines are fired up. Here we go. Joe Jefferson doing pretty good at points. Has scored a victory. Let's see where exactly he is, and the one has problems, and he already bails. Already, are, already down to the apron. Joe Jefferson is actually eighth place. He actually dropped four spots, but he still has a chance. Driver is currently top ten. Jack Legacy still the points leader, only by two. Carter Friesen is second. David Davison, who's in third, you see him already pulling out. Andrew Johnson gained six spots, Sam and O fifth, Mitchell Collins six, Alexander Rowe seven, just mentioned Joe Jefferson eighth, pace car is in, green flag is out, and we're underway. Blank keys ninth and Anderson tenth. So let's see the four the fourteen that Joe Jefferson get those points back, get back into the fight. Andrew Johnson. The second driver in the top five in points without a victory, him and Carter Friesen, so he's not alone on this. But let's see if he can win one. There's Jack Legacy in the 28, who is the points leader by two points, as we just mentioned. Ahead by only two points from the 22, who sits somewhere right there in the mid-pack, back, back, back of the pack. Pretty spread out back here. Oh, oh, the 9, oh, he almost turns the 14 coming off the corner. And that causes him the lead in the 99. He'll take those five bonus points. That 14 cannot be happy. He was first. He was going to lead the first lap. And he's already down to 12 thanks to the 9 car. And the 9 fell only back, only fell to 7th. Jefferson, he almost went around. Oh, now Tim Randolph, he's all over him. He looks like he's going to try to spin him out. Something wrong with the 14? I don't think so. Maybe people are just pushing too hard. But it's just the first lap. He's got plenty of time to work his way up to the front. Thanks to that, the front of the pack is not really a pack. And here comes Jack Legacy in a 28. And he'll lead this lap. And of course, five bonus points towards him. Now we'll take a look at the other championship contenders. There's the one, he's back out the racetrack. Andrew Johnson is 32nd. Once again, without a victory. He makes it look easy in points, but he, it's just so hard for him to win the race. I can only recall one race he's won. The Sportsman uh, Series at Kansas. And here comes the 17, Patrick Mew. He won the first event. Could he win the second? Only one driver has done it before, and that driver is in the 24. We haven't mentioned about that in a while. But Carter Joey in the 21, he's last in points. He's got nothing to lose here, pretty much. It's all or nothing for him. Another championship contender, potential championship contender, is the 7, who is currently in 5th with one victory. Oh, and he almost got turned by the 9, man. The 9 is just going all out. That veteran. He's not having a good season either. 31st in points. Yeah, a lot of big names aren't doing good. Uh, Chris Kyle is 33rd. Daniel Bouchard is 32nd. Noodles is 31st. Aaron Carlson is 30th. And Jay Jefferson is 29th. Dexter Black 28th. Aureus 27th. And here we go. They're neck and neck. Side by side. Two by two. All the way through. And the 9 car will go over and take the race lead. Noodles, Dexter Black, and 
Bouchard. They're all below 25th in points. Here goes a 38, but now here goes a 48. Marcus is actually in a 6, where he is in points. I think he's around mid pack. 21st, down 6 spots. Maybe another driver that has nothing to lose. Just gotta go for it. Well, we'll see. Well, there's only. Including this one, there's 4 races left. Oh, a little contact there, almost turned the 48 car around. So far, a lot cleaner race than the first race. We're wrecking and spinning, flipping and crashing everywhere. But they're going to keep it clean, and you can hear the one who needs a caution. If he gets to put a lap down, he is, well, not done, but it's going to be very hard for him. And there they go, three wide. Here comes Trey Wright in the 40. Could he make it two in a row? He gained eight spots after that victory. 16th in points. Three wide. They're a lot crazy at the start, but now they're a lot more calm. Here comes the 22. That's going to be big. Uh, how do you call it? Well, we'll just say it's going to be not a good point tonight for the one. Looks like he will finish last. Unless he gets a caution, he gets back up in there. And get as many spots as possible. What was it? Halfway point so far. Caution free. And here comes the 22. Who is yet to win a race as well. Closing in on the 1. Looks like he won't get that caution. Freezing goes high. He goes with the 1. Here comes Tony Green, his teammate, gonna put him a lap down, and he almost gets turned. Mert is back onto the racetrack. Ah, oh, he was hoping for a yellow there, because he would have definitely beat the leaders. 22 is still the race leader here. Oh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna do everything he can to block that leaders. Block that leaders? Uh, to the outside. But Green, he, he's his teammate, but he can't fall back for him. He's not even on the right lane, he can't help him at all. And he was hoping his teammate to spin out so he could get a yellow, but didn't. Still out front, still can get a yellow here. The one is just doing a great job. And he might get that wish. Get, things are getting heated again. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Unless the 36 will try to spin him out again. Almost. This time we put a lap down. Tony Green gets by, and he'll lead the lap. The one tried, he almost got his wish twice. Just couldn't do it, just can't hang on. Thirty-six, thirty. here's the 11 of Mitchell Collins. Neck and neck for the race lead here. Oh, trouble. Oh, there goes the 30. What a save by both those drivers. But Tony Green's up against the wall. 30 almost went over. He gets back on the racetrack. The 11 is still on the apron. Careful merging back up. Whoa, whoa. Hang on, hang on. He's going to lose it. They're giving him the spot. How the hell did they not wreck? The 11's still on the apron watching him potentially might cause a wreck here still on the apron and now he doesn't fully get back no okay, there he goes just losing it there that definitely separated the field big time here up the front there's the 36 the one and where second place is supposed to be here goes the six so many close calls tonight Surprise, no one has wrecked yet. No one has actually had nothing happen to them. By the except for the one. There's only a lap down. Still got a shot at this. Who knows? We could even go into overtime. And he'll definitely get his lap back. But two laps, it's gonna be tough. 
really tough to pass 33 cars. There you go, freezing in the 22 to the race lead. But Tony Green not letting up. He wants to get that race lead back. He got onto the wall. Because 30 and the 11 almost nearly wrecked, so he checked up. But he was still okay, doing alright. He'll lead another. I have no idea who's at the most laps so far. The 30 is leading that third pack. I doubt he's slowing them down. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. Here comes Steve Larker in the 34. Here comes Orius. The only driver to sweep at Daytona. Oh, trouble, trouble. 33 is around, including the 18. Right in front. And there he goes. He's spinning. Caution. Looks like we're going to go into overtime. Oh, the 24 nearly wrecks. On the 98. Oh, my God. Another close call, but the yellow's out anyways. And here comes Steve Larker in the 34. He'll take the yellow, and we're definitely going into overtime. Only that yellow came out a lap earlier than... I think we have a one lap shootout. Let's take a look at the replay. Only a minor incident. The 33 and the 18. I think I should have threw the yellow myself. That wouldn't matter. He's pushing on the left side. Coming off four. Or, no, not four. Two. Yeah, very similar to what we've been seeing all night. And that was an awkward hit right there. And he almost had it saved. He almost had it. If he did not come back onto the racetrack and hit the 11, the uh, actually no, the yellow would have came out either way because you could see the lights right there, flashing yellow. I think. When is it really flash yellow? There it is. Okay. It's a bit weird. The lights have some kind of like yellow tint on them. But okay, now you can see the lights. They fully come on. If the 33 stayed on the apron. They want to throw the yellow. All right, there, right there. There's the yellow. A two-car spin down the back straightaway. Forces in overtime. Well, and uh, yeah, well, see the results of the line. Then we'll take you to it. So the first time this season, and I think maybe the first time ever, we're gonna have the entire field restarting in this overtime. So Tony Green and Trey Wright, they'll be on the front row, and uh, we'll take you to overtime. Here we go, overtime at Daytona. Tony Green, Trey Wright, Mark Satachi, Carter Friesen, Orius, and Hyder, I think, I don't know. Uh, T. Chapman, Tim Randolph, Daniel Bouchard, Dex uh, Dexter Black. Pace cars in, coming to the green flag. Here they go. Two laps remaining here at Daytona. Driver spreading out so you can get that big run. You can see the 6 just pushing that 42 as hard as he can to the front. And he's going to make the move himself. But he has no pusher. But they're not up to speed yet. So he'll have a small advantage. Somewhere around the back straight away if he has no help. Tony Green will be pushed forward back in front. Here comes the 24. He's got backup. He's got plenty of backup. Tim Randolph stuck in the middle. Oh, the 24 almost gets turned. He hasn't won Daytona in a while. But a lot of other hungry drivers in front and behind. White flag is out. One more time around. Oh, trouble. Kyle and Zachary Fritzwater back there. They save it, though. Great save. The six in front. Can you block three lanes at once? I don't know, at least one lane's going to get the jump on him. Man, look at this. The Henrik teammates right in the middle. Can he work something out? Nope, I don't think so. Tatachi blocking Tony Green. But Chapman on the inside. Here they come. Who's going to win it? Bouchard in the 48. He's behind him. He's all over him. Oh, he's going to get turned. And coming off four. The 36. He's going to win it. Checkered flag is out. 
That last lap pass off of four. And Travis, or Travis, I don't know, Chapman has won it here at Daytona. 48 gave him one hell of a push and he almost got wrecked by the nine car. How did they make it all back? I'm surprised. A pretty clean race here at Daytona. A very clean race. Haven't seen one in a while, but my god. That was some incredible racing throughout the whole entire race. How these drivers able to save those cars nearly about to fly over. And they still somehow saved it. Unbelievable. Only two cars, you could say, wrecked. And yeah, they, they had only two cars wrecked. And that's all that's all you could say. Take a look at the uh, full race results. Oh, whoops. Uh, Chapman wins it by six hundredths of a second. Six, six, seventh, hundredth of, I don't know. Uh, seven hundredths. Uh, Tony Green third, Orius fourth, Trey Wright fifth, Tim Randolph sixth, Carter Friesen seven, Heider, Heater, I don't know, eighth, uh, Sam and ninth, and Dexter Black tenth. Bouchard, thanks to the nine car, he ends up finishing one spot out of the top 10. Couldn't even get a top 10 out of that. Let's take a look at the replay. I thought it was going to be a guaranteed wreck the 40. I thought it was going to wreck the 36. But he ends up getting nearly get taken out by the 9. That cost him a top 3 finish. Potential. Or at least a top 5 finish. Not even a top 10 finish on the 9 car. He screwed himself out of a good finish as well. He finished his... I think he was 15th or 14th. But that 36 he had a good pusher. Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Although... Probably doesn't mean anything. But he already had the six car cleared. And he couldn't get a big, big enough run to get back on the outside. Chapman, of course, he's going to slide up. That's the smartest thing to do. The six goes to the middle trying to draft him. He looks to the inside. But uh, again, looking inside, inside, inside. But it's just too late. 36 comes down the block. And he ends up getting the race win. By leading only one lap, I believe. It was only one, one or two laps, but a last lap pass off of four. Another wild one. It was pretty clean, but it was still pretty wild. So many cars, so many drivers, nearly wrecking and flipping, and no big ones either. Only two cars really crashed tonight. But now take you to victory lane.